everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's simply Jessica here today with a beautiful, hopefully, um, <laughs> fall DIY. So I am just making a centerpiece and this is my idea. So we're gonna see how it turns out. So I have two of these wooden trays here and I'm holding it because I did break off one side just to see how easy it was going to be. So we have two of them. As you can see, I already broke off both sides and I literally just grabbed this and yanked it off. They come off very, very easy. I did it to both of them. I did leave a little bit on that side and we're just going to break off one side of each one. And then I'm just gonna take my little sanding block here and just kind of, and it doesn't have to be perfect, believe me. So just if you wanna get any type of like sharp edge or anything off, which it really didn't leave much, we are just gonna go right over it easily on both sides. And I'm actually gonna stop that just for a second because that kind of gets loud. Okay, so just very quickly sanded the sides here. We're just gonna wipe those off and I'm gonna kind of wipe out the inside here because it has some glitter in there from other things that I bought that day. So we're just gonna get rid of some of that glitter in there. Okay, so now that we broke off one side of each one and we sanded it down, I am going to set those aside for a second get my bowl here going to be using this real brown it is from apple barrel outdoor indoor gloss acrylic paint and I'm just going to try to open that there we go I'm just gonna dump some in here and we're gonna mix that with some water I have like my spray bottle because I didn't go get actual water in a cup and <laughs> just mix that together. We're just gonna do this to add a little bit of a stain color to these two wooden things. So just a little bit of brown paint and some water and you'll need some paper towels because this is the easiest and fun part of painting here with this stuff because you literally just mix the paint with some water. Trying to make sure that doesn't flip out, it's gonna. Grab yourself some paper towels here. And this is so easy for such a cute stained look. And you're just gonna take that and go right over top of your wood here. And then you're gonna take your paper towel and wipe it off. And it does give this appearance Look at that, of like stained wood, which I think is just pretty awesome. So easy and so cute. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about the bottom unless you really want to. I'm not going to, but just kind of missed a little bit there. Go over it one more time. Look at that, isn't that just so cute? And just wipe that down with your paper towel and it gives this really cool stain look to it so we're just gonna go on all sides here of both pieces and we could do the inside as well we're gonna do the inside because there is probably some of it you're going to see and I really liked these because they had the pumpkin on them which I thought was really cool just right over top take your paper towel and wipe off I just think that is so cool making a little mess on the inside but it's okay because we're gonna go over it but right I just love how easy this is and how nice it looks it just kills me that it's so easy just some paint some water and some paper towels and we're good to go and you have such a cool looking stain on your wood, which I think is fantastic. And let it sit there for a minute. Grabbing your paper towels again. And just a quick swipe. Now that side I went over twice, so we're just gonna go over it twice. 
and that'll be, and again, don't worry about that because we're just gonna go right over top of it. So it's completely okay. And we're just gonna do the same thing I just showed you all over both of these. Okay, so here we are. They are done. They are nice and beautifully stained. <coughs> Excuse me. Now again, like I said, the bottom, I don't care too much about. So, because you're not going to see it, right? Now, as you can see, you're probably, when you line them up, let me flip it back over. There is a gap now between the two sides. Perfectly fine because you're not going to see it. So, what we want to worry about <clears throat> is getting the stability in the middle to hold things to get to hold it together so I'm just gonna use some wood glue and some hot glue mainly just for hot glue so I could do this video and show you but we're also gonna use some wood glue to hold this together so it's a very thin piece of wood here but we're just going to add some wood glue in the middle here because I want to add some hot glue so we can hold this together now. So we'll go in between it with the hot glue. And then we will just push this together, line it up, push it together. Give that glue a little bit of time to cool. You know the wood glue is going to take longer to dry but this is why I want to use the hot glue so we could do this together and you can see. Now you're going to be able to tell it's going to be a little flimsy in the middle because of the crease, I mean the cutout here. But this is why we're going to glue this together here and I'm also going to be using, I like to say tongue depressors or suppressors. Um, <laughs> But they're called crafting sticks at the Dollar Tree. You get a nice big bag of them. And we're gonna be gluing them on here in the back. That way we don't fold and bend like this. So we're just gonna take our hot glue here, go right down this stick, and we're gonna go right. It doesn't have to be, you know, certain amount away but just so the bottom here, we have some stability. Let's do the same thing. We're gonna put three of them back here. So one in the middle and one here and one here. I'm going to be lifting this off the table a little bit so that way maybe we're just gonna break this here and add it here and here um, so it's not gonna be a big deal that these sticks are there but this is mainly just like I said for the stability of the middle so we don't break. Okay, so now we have a more sturdy thing. And I had this right here, the Tumbling Towers game. Now this one came with the two different colors. So you have the light wood ones, which you could stain the same as we did here. And they come with the brown ones, which I'm just going to use the brown ones because it's really not that far off in color. And I'm just going to add them down like this and give it a little bit of height off the table. Not a ton, but a little bit. And we're just going to use our hot glue here, right down there, and then right on the corners. And then one in the middle. And I pushed them back just a hair, like literally just a hair back from the edge. And 
we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So now our little centerpiece has some legs on it. Super easy, right? And now it stands. Now again, don't mind this mess because you're not going to see it. I promise. Um, <laughs> but this is what you have so far. And it stands so cute. Now, the middle here, I'm going to take six more of the dark colored tumbling blocks. No, 12, I'm sorry. And I'm going to add them in here. I might not even need that many. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys know how I do this, right? I do this as I'm thinking. I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I keep going as I'm thinking here. No, we are gonna use six, so. We're gonna take the flat side, not the thin side, the wider side here, put some hot glue and we're gonna go in the center with this. And we're gonna go three down, like so, and then right on top, three, one. So this is so easy. Just some glue, line those up, like so, and just do three. Just like that, and then we're gonna go one on top of each other. So three more. And you'll see why. Now for the center, I'm going to be using these candle holders. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get some of this hot glue off of me. These really cool candle holders that I bought from the Dollar Tree, as usual, right? Um, <laughs> that had like the thinner bottom and then it got wider, went in and then wider on the top. So I thought this would be really cool for a candle ball centerpiece. So we're gonna put one on each side of the riser and then this one is gonna go on the riser. That way it just gives the middle one a little bit more height from the bottom. The side too, I'm sorry. If you want to glue them in, you can. I'm not going to, but you can. So this is the real fun part. This is where you get your flowers, your pumpkins, whatever it is you want to do to decorate, to fill this, and to decorate this. So again, it is all about how you want to do it. Now we've got a bunch of different options here. I'm going to move some of this over. We've got kind of like a big mess <laughs> going on over here. Now. We've got all kinds of things. We have the pumpkins on a stick. We've got tons of flowers. You can use the flowers even on the outside. This is why I say this hole here is not going to matter because it's very easy just to glue something on the outside of it. Let it be flowers, a bow, pumpkins. That's why I love this part because it really is just about, like I say all the time, your style and how you choose to decorate. You also have some of these little wooden words you can paint and you can add to the front, which would be cute as well. You have Hello Fall. You can very easily, sorry I had to point the wrong way, paint these and add them to the front if you would like, which we may actually do. I like this Hello Fall one. I think I'm gonna paint this, um, I think I'm gonna paint that white and we're just gonna use that for our top then 
we have the flowers, we have the pumpkins. We've just got all kinds of things. And <laughs> if you guys, I mean, they have everything. So I mean, you can fill this in, decorate this to your own liking and style. It may help to glue these in if you wanted. It, to decorate, it may be easier just to have them in. Again, this is why I put a lot of support in the center because we'll be having to support these three glass candle holders and we'll just decorate. I'm gonna go paint that Hello Fall white and I'll be right back. Okay, so you see I have a mess, right? <laughs> so these are all my leaves and my flowers and my pumpkins and everything I dug out here just so we can play. And I did paint the words, I held it up there, I didn't like it. So when I'm not doing that, you can, but I'm not. I just took one of the nice maroon mums and I hot glued it on each side to just start with. So we have one there and one there. And then I'm just setting these in here so I can see where I need to, you know, fill in and all the fun stuff. So I did pull apart some orange leaves, some maroon leaves, and I'm just going to add them right here in the corners. Just a little hot glue. And we'll alternate on this side and we'll put the orange on the corners. It's easier just to glue because it's falling all over me and <laughs> well I'll just alternate the corners so I'll put maroon here and here orange here and here so I'm just gonna figure out where I need the hot glue so just a little bit on the back of each leaf here and I got it on the wrong spot need my hot glue and I brought a whole pack of glue sticks in with me before and I just had to figure out oh right in front of me okay <laughs> figure out where I put them okay So I figured in each corner I'm going to put the leaves and then I'm going to take one of these, what did we call these, sweater pumpkins. Now they have the clips on the bottom. You don't necessarily need the clip. So, and you're not going to see it. I'm just going to hot glue that right down there. You could probably get these off. I would say probably not with too much of a big deal. Nope. Okay. So they do pull off and then I'm just going to take some hot glue here and we're just going to go right around that corner and we're going to stick our pumpkin on. So for the orange, ooh, that was hot. Um, <laughs> for the orange leaves, I'm going to use the cream colored pumpkin and for the red leaves, I'm going to use the orange pumpkin. So we're just going to glue those down. Okay, so I have all of the leaves and the pumpkins on. I did just pull apart some other mums. I did not glue these down yet. I just wanted to kind of set them in there to see how this was going to look. So far, gorgeous. Because um, <laughs> we just kind of want to fill in some of the spaces here that we have by setting this up and just kind of gluing those in place a little bit. I've got tons of little mini mums that we are also going to be adding in here in all different spots you can see. So it's basically just filling this into your taste and style. Whew, getting warm in here. Um, also have some berries. We have some like regular brown leaves. So we have some of this here you can add in as well. Like I said, it's just more playing around with it, your style, see what you like, and just, you know, doing it to your, your satisfaction. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to play with it here, and 
Here's those other leaves I was talking about. So you can just kind of play around, see where you like things, where you may not. You might not like them at all. Um, <laughs> that's why I don't glue right away. I always play around with it and see how I'm liking it before I actually glue anything into place. So that way I know if I'm going to like it or not. But again, there's tons of different flowers. You also have your sunflowers here that you could use. So I am just going to sit here and glue some of this stuff down. The only other thing is I have the smaller tea light candles. I thought that I had some of the bigger ones um, in the other room. I do not. So I am just going to be using sorry, these smaller ones for demonstration today, but I will end up getting like the bigger uh, flameless candles to go in here because I thought I had some more and I didn't. So we're just going to be using the, the little ones here for a demonstration. So I'm just going to glue my stuff down and then I'll be back to show you what I got. And there it is glowing without any of the other lights on. Dimmed it a little bit in here so you can see it. Again, I think it looks great. Um, Again, I'm partial. Uh, <laughs> I'm impartial. So, again, I just put the bigger candles in the middle, but other than that, I think it came out fabulous. I'm trying to keep the light over here so you can see it, but it's not cooperating. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I do have the little tea lights in there that are flickering. They don't look too bad. I do just do, um, wow, <laughs> I just want to have, like, the bigger ones in there. I think that it will complement it a little bit better. You can see in the center, I added just some of that wheat that we bought from the Dollar Tree the other day. And just added that to the middle there. And you see our pumpkins. I put the little mums on the outside corners and just filled it in with some of my favorite flowers. You see the tea light in there flickering away. I do think it looks cute. I just want the bigger ones in there. But I did just add one little other thing. Hold on one second. There we go, I added some twinkle lights, the fairy lights to it. And I just thought that gave it just a little extra something snazzy in there. I just think that lights up so pretty. I'm just gonna turn the light off in here so we can get a better shot. Okay, so I just turned the light down. I have a little light glowing just a tiny bit so we can see this, but I love it. I think that the fairy lights just gave it a little something extra, but Guys, you saw how simple and easy this was. I'm in love with it. I hope you are too. And I will see you tomorrow for a Dollar Tree haul. So until next time, bye now.